Hey, this is Jim Bergman with Measure Quick, and uh, we had a couple of questions. Uh, somebody emailed me and just said, you know, all that little 2 CFM pump is cool, but can it really make it to the end of an evacuation on a system? So I thought I'd do here, I just want to show you a couple of interesting things. We have this hooked up with a, uh, with a True Blue kit, and there's actually a kit that you can buy that comes with the pump uh, that has the, this hose. So what we've got here is just a aluminum T um, tied in with a couple of fittings on here. Actually, it's a stainless steel T. Three is fitting off the top of the pump. You notice I got this open right now and I have the battery disconnected from the pump. We have this tied to a 50 foot of 3 8 by 7 8 line set into a 5 ton coil. So what I want to do is I just want to walk through this. We're going to see number one, how fast we can pull this thing down, but number two, how many times we can pull it down. So I'll have the, the videographers just scrub through the video a little bit. We'll capture everything on the screen here. But what I'm curious about is how many times can we pull equivalent of a 5 ton system down? This would be a a typical five ton installation you know so we got a regular line set and a regular coil and you know this is where we'd have the condensing unit valved off and we'd just be pulling it down from the start so we're going to go ahead uh just want you to come over here and take a peek here i do have the battery fully charged on this thing so when the light's out here and this is green which we have this is a fully charged battery i have found on this pump you do want to disconnect the battery when you're not using it and i've got this open to atmosphere here i'll just open this again so hoses are open Core tools are open, everything's ready to go. We're gonna get this set up on a tripod here. And what I've got set up here is, uh, we'll turn this to graphing mode. And I'm just gonna press start here, restart recording. And we'll go ahead and start the pump and we'll get this thing started pulling down. I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera up on a tripod so we can just watch this a little bit and we'll see how many times we can get the system pulled down and into a deep vacuum. All right, so we're, we're down to about 510 microns here, 504, 503. 499. I'm going to go ahead and isolate this and I'm going to break the vacuum on this right now. So we're going to open it up to atmosphere. I'm going to hit continue. We're going to let this go till we're completely out of the atmosphere. And it says fail here because I broke the vacuum. We're at high pressure here. We're at atmospheric here. I'm going to put the cap back on and we're going to pull this right down again. So that's the sound it's got to be something with the battery draw and the, uh, the draw on the battery because we're really loading this pump up with the uh, with the true blue hoses so it's probably something that's totally fine it's just the way they're managing their battery life and stuff in there yeah and so we'll probably hear it after it runs in its lower speed for a few seconds it'll probably ramp back up to the higher speed and it's just probably like they're programming in their battery so you don't drain the batteries too fast on the on the pump but this is, you know, we're doing successive pull downs on there, so we're running the pump a little bit harder because with these true blue hoses on here, we're making that pump work at a full two CFM. Yeah. You know, it's it's like running like it's wide open on the table, uh, yeah. effectively right here. <laughs> Do I know any good jokes? Oh my god, I haven't told a joke in so many years. It's just not funny anymore. <laughs> Subco TechLink meter. This is an incredible meter. If you haven't had a chance to take a look at this yet, this is one of the only meters in its price class that will actually do power, power factor watts, so we can get real-time EER, test the capacitor under our load. It's a new product that we've been working on for almost uh, two years now. Finally got it on the market. Uh, Subco is distributing these for us at Redfish. Uh, you should be able to find them at your local supply house. If not, you need to annoy them and get them on the shelf for us because this is just a great product. Um, we're seeing a lot of them fly out the door. 
getting a really good response from people. This ties in with the Subco TechLink app and with MeasureQuick, so you can use it for both. So it's a it's an incredible product for uh, getting the biggest bang for your buck out of MeasureQuick and really being able to show the customer how well their equipment's performing. But if you haven't had a chance to, uh, to take a look at this yet, I'd highly suggest you look at it because it's really cool. And thanks a lot for the, taking the break in this commercial interruption. And now, back to vacuum with NAVAC. getting a little beep out of the pump and the beep out of the pump is just letting us know that the battery is nearing its end of life right so we got six full pull downs that we're talking about uh, we're approaching that six one and it's beeping we're gonna run, we're gonna run this thing right till it's dead I want to just see what it will do so there it stops all right so you can see we got one, two, three, four, five, six pull downs of a five ton equivalent system here, and it ran till it actually stopped. Now, the, uh, what's interesting here is um, it does have a solenoid in here that clicked. If we we're actually part way down in a deep vacuum, what would have happened is that solenoid would have dropped, and then we would not have lost our vacuum very quickly on here. Uh, the, the battery is fully expired here, but as you can see, I mean, if we did six pull downs on a day on a job, that would be a lot. But the only reason this is all possible is because we've paired up the two CFM pump with the True Blue hoses. If we weren't using True Blue, it would take us an hour to pull down the system one time, let alone six times. And we're at six times at uh, roughly 36 minutes right here. So 36 minutes in, and I've been talking a couple minutes, 30 minutes, pulled down the system six times, got the, uh, got the, ran it all the way to the time the battery dead is dead, and it's really, really quite impressive that we could do this with this little battery pump and it just shows you how um, how valid this type of technology is I would have never believed that we could do it six times let alone one or two times and we never could have done this with quarter inch hoses but that's really what makes this thing unique and again you got a pump that's so darn light you can pick it up and carry it in your pocket almost it's a it's a great little pump and hopefully this gives you an idea here how well that can really work this is Jim Bergman with MeasureQuick thanks a lot for watching